breaking news. This just into our newsroom. It's tough to be able to discern what's true and what's not because you are being bombarded so much. On the internet, there's so many things that people are just throwing at you that it's just, they don't get to know the truth for themselves and it's just from what they see first. I think most people my age already know that not everything you read on the internet is true. So what I've learned was you look at the source. They can kind of be confusing sometimes because there's contradicting statements everywhere and you don't really know what to believe for yourself. You know, eventually, I guess it, there comes a point in everyone's life where you have to find out the truth for yourself. We live in a time of greatly expanded and disseminated information. We need to be cautious as we seek truth and choose sources for that search. We should not consider secular prominence or authority as qualified sources of truth. We should be cautious about relying on information or advice offered by entertainment stars, prominent athletes, or anonymous internet sources. Our personal decisions should be based on information from sources that are qualified on the subject and free from selfish motivations. I go for truth to the sources that I know are unending and never changing truth. I find truth in prayers, draw prayers and scriptures, and you read the scriptures a lot, you find a lot of truth. The truth is the truth, and through scriptures that we have and through prayer, we can find the truth for ourselves in very meaningful moments of our lives. I trust Jesus Christ because he's my personal savior. Having spiritual truth that I can hold on to is my foundation in everything that I do. Hold fast to what you already know and stand strong until additional knowledge comes. In this church, what we know will always trump what we do not know. Man can lie, but God cannot lie. So I had to go and um, verify to my Heavenly Father. We find true and enduring joy by coming to know and acting upon the truth about who we are, the meaning of mortal life, and where we are going when we die. Our loving Heavenly Father wants His children to have the joy that is the purpose of our creation. That joyful destiny is eternal life. Those truths cannot be learned by scientific or secular methods. <laughs>